Hi, welcome and congratulations. And a great job for taking action by requesting my free energy balance cheat sheet, which you should be receiving via email within the next five minutes. By doing this, it is clear that you are taking this first step because you are seeking a better way to manage your weight and you wish to learn how to eat better. In this quick 10-minute presentation, I'm going to cover how energy balance works. That way, once you receive your cheat sheet, you will be ready to implement the simple steps to get that weight under control and work out a simple plan not to eat less, but to eat right, and then start losing those last unwanted extra pounds. Hi, my name is uh, JP Vielma. I am a certified health coach. I received my certification from Villanova University's co program. I have helped hundreds of busy individuals like yourself lose up to 30 pounds in 90 days so you can look and feel your best without countless hours in the gym or tons of hours in the kitchen. And yes, this is me. I lost 55 pounds in 19 weeks using this exact same program. In this presentation, I'm going to give you a simple roadmap to find out how to eat for health. My eight page ebook guide will cover all you need to know about calories, fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Following the simple two step guide will get you from not knowing how to start a proper nutritional plan to implementing a daily routine that will get you to start fat burn and continue to lose weight consistently and predictably. One of the most important aspects of this plan is the illustration shown here. A lot of people ask me, so hey man, what happens if I don't follow the plan exactly? So I'm going to show you two different examples. The graph here on top, you will see the individual here was able to achieve fat burn within three days, which is pretty average for everybody. However, if you notice here on day seven, he or she decided to have a little cheat day and had a little cheat meal as a, a reward for doing so good during this first week. So when you do that, you basically throw your body out of fat burn. When you do this, and this is the reason why so many people get frustrated with the fact that they do so well during the week, but then they just can't seem to lose any weight. And this is the reason why. In contrast, and to get maximum benefit, on the example shown below, this individual got into fat burn mode and he or she continued on their path. By doing so, they were able to get to their desired goal. For me, once I saw this illustration, that was a day that it all became a reality for me as it made me realize what I had been doing wrong my entire life. The most important thing here is modifying the plan will result in modified results. So that brings us to step number one, calculating your total energy expenditure or your T. Your T is an estimation of how many calories you burn per day given your gender, current weight, and level of physical activity. This is comprised of three different factors. The first one is your BMR or your basic metabolic rate. This is the energy that you use for your basic bodily needs. As we all know, even when your body's at rest, it still burns calories by breathing, growing, circulating blood, repairing cells, etc. This is a big factor because it usually accounts for about 60 to 75% of your daily calories burned. Second is your PAL or your physical activity level. This is the energy that you use when you move around, either by playing tennis, walking to the store, cleaning around the house, doing CrossFit, dancing, etc. Or maybe you are sedentary. You don't exercise. The concept here remains the same. Last is the thermal effect of food, or your TEF. This is the energy that your body uses to digest, absorb, move, and store it throughout your body. And usually it counts for about 10 to 15% of your daily calories burned. Okay, so now that we understand this, we are going to calculate it using an example. In this quick formula, by using your current weight and multiplying it by 11, if you're a male, by 9 if you're a female. This will give you your daily caloric need. In this example, a 160-pound female, we multiply that by 9, and we get 1,440 calories. This is what she needs to have daily. Now, it's important to note that this T is for someone who's not trying to lose weight and who is not trying to gain weight. She simply wants to maintain. Now, if you wish to account for exercise, we will grab this T and add any extra calories burned with exercise. For example, if you were to walk twice a day for 15 minutes at a four mile per hour pace, 
you will burn 100 extra calories every 15 minutes. If you do this twice a day, you can add an additional 200 calories to your tea. A simple way to calculate your extra calories burn is by using your Fitbit, your fitness bands, your smartphones, or any other sort of application that will help you track any number of calories that you burn during your exercise. The point of this exercise is to figure out how much energy you need exactly to maintain your current weight given your activity level. Okay, so now move on to step number two, breaking down your calories by macros. So let's not get intimidated by the jargon. Really, all we are saying is, how do I break down my calories into fats, proteins, and carbohydrates? That's all we're saying. When it comes to fats, you want to limit your fat grams to about 50 per day. The reason for that is that fats are the most energy-dense nutrients compared to proteins and carbohydrates, as each gram of fat contains 9 calories. On the other hand, the reason why we don't want to cut fat altogether is, your body still needs fats to stay healthy. Something like 60% of your brain is made up of fatty tissue. So yes, we need those fats. When it comes to proteins, you wish to have about 75% of your current weight in grams of proteins. The reason for that is in order for you to maintain your current muscle mass, you need to replenish it with protein. And this is a minimum requirement. If you wish to cut weight, then you want to increase this to 85% in grams all the way up to 100% of your current weight in grams if you wish to build muscle mass when lifting. Each protein gram contains 4 calories. The rest of your tea can be allocated to your carbohydrates. So what does that look like? Well, using the previous example, this 160-pound female who wishes to maintain with the formula given, we determine that she needs 1,440 calories. We know that she needs 50 grams of healthy fats daily. So in this case, we will subtract the 450 calories off of her tea. We then subtract the protein calories. We know that at 75%, 120 times 4 is 480 calories. So what we have left is the original 1,440 calories off her tea minus her 450 fat calories, minus her 480 protein calories, and that leaves us with 510 calories allocated to carbohydrates. We then divide that number by four, and that leaves us with a total carbohydrate daily allowance for her at 128 grams. When it comes to weight loss, if you have five to 10 pounds to lose, you simply figure out what your T is given your activity level, and then subtract 500 calories. This will keep your caloric intake at a slight deficit, and over time, will help you lose the weight steadily and safely. All right, so up until now, I have covered energy balance, which you'll see here is uh, step number eight. This is one of the tools that I offer within my three and three plan of my weight loss and optimal health solution. My three and three plan is what I offer my clients who are looking for an easy way and effortless way to maintain their current weight. They simply don't have the time to meal prep. This is also a great program for someone who wants to know how to eat clean, working out, and maintain or lose just a few pounds. Now, if you have more weight to lose, 15, 20, 30 to 40 pounds, or even more than that, then I recommend you consider the 5-in-1 plan that I offer on my first phase. My first phase is comprised of three steps, which is number one, mindset, the 5-in-1 plan and 10-day Ignite. The goal of the first phase is to get you into fat burn mode, which as we've already mentioned, it takes about three or four days. When we get you through this first phase, then we will move you immediately to step phase number two, which is achieving your goal. First step of the second phase is learning the habits of health, learning some simple habits of motion, and then the last step is connecting you to the community support. And before you know it, you will be achieving your goal. The last phase will be getting you through transition, the 3-in-3 three three plan, which is part of the energy balance, which we've covered today. So now you're ahead of the curve. And finally, learning a lot of steps that will help you achieve ultra-healthy habits to thrive your way. So once again, in summary, during the first phase from when you start, you will go from bloated to energetic. Moving on to the second phase, 
we will take you from overweight to lean. And in the very last phase, once you get to your goal, we will get you from lean to fit and thriving to that first last phase. Think of the thriving step as the place where you come up with what works for you, which is what's great about this program is that it adapts to your individual goals. Whether you wish to jog daily, maybe you want to do some walking, maybe you want to hike, maybe you want to do Zumba, or maybe you want to train for a triathlon, or maybe you want you wish to remain sedentary. This program adjusts to you. Now, if you wish to know how other people are making that simple change that is helping them transform their bodies and lives so radically, I strongly suggest that you register for the free upcoming live webinar. Within the webinar, I will be covering details of each step of my entire weight loss and optimal health solution that I outlined in the previous slide. I will cover in the three-phase, nine-step in detail. Additionally, I will give you four key components to weight loss, each of which by themselves will help you lose weight over time, but together will dramatically increase your chances of a lifetime transformation, which is what you want, predictable transformation. And that is exactly what my offer is all about. Okay, so let's click on that link and register for the free webinar and learn about my risk-free offer. Once again, you will learn in phase one, going from bloated to energetic, in phase two, from overweight to lean, and finally in phase three, from fit to thriving. Listen, I really enjoy having you here. I am all about valuable content. I really hope that you have learned the tools to get you on the right path to health in this quick presentation. Once again, I invite you to be a part of the healthy community by taking part of the free webinar. So we will see you there.